hello again I'm working on a new update on my game and what I want to do today I want to create is a dialogue system with subtitles so let's get started I have some dialogues ready to go I'll change a lot of them but this one is the one I will definitely use it's uh, it's gonna be used for when it's raining in the game and the character just reacts to it it's raining again I better get ready yeah it's it that's it uh, so uh, the way I want to do it is I have a widget set up called hot and this widget is my main widget I have everything set up in my uh, in my hot widget so I want to uh, probably where can I use to put my subtitles Okay, somewhere around here because oh no this is not going to be used somewhere around here probably is going to be where my subtitle is gonna be so if you don't know how to create a widget just right click uh, it's in the user interface widget blueprint and then you have to go ahead in your uh, either blueprint uh, in character blueprint or in the uh, your map blueprint level blueprint or in the game instance you have to add it somewhere so for example in my case I'm going to create a uh, widget which is called HUD and then add it to viewport and then I have to right click and promote it to a variable because later on I'm gonna use it everywhere okay for my subtitle I'm going to type in text and I'll probably use a text box multi-line the text box multi-line is gonna be okay I guess and it should be in this canvas panel My mouse isn't working. Okay. Okay, this is going to be my uh, text box multi line, and then the alignment is going to be here. Now um, it should come all the way up here before the pause menu. Z order is zero, that's fine. this so this is probably what I'm going to need probably or maybe I should just put this one a little bit higher so I could use this area for my solid subtitle text And this is coming a little bit down. Oh, maybe this one should be a bit bigger. So, text. Um, this is a test text to see how well this subtitle is going to work. Okay, it's too small. So font, um, make it bigger, please. I guess 20 is gonna work just fine. But I believe 23. Okay, this is going pretty well. So 20 is fine. I don't need a background, probably, or do I? So now it doesn't look good at all. Uh, font family is going to be the phones I'm using everywhere um, and color I don't right now I don't need to change that too much background maybe something like point three and then I want it to be a rounded box I mean it doesn't look good at all but let's see no uh, boxes pretty well 
or I don't really need to draw any background at all to be honest um, draw none which focus none ok I don't need a background I just need the font to probably be red something that's pretty visible Okay. Or white. Yeah, white's gonna work just fine. Every every game nowadays uses white um, subtitles. So let's call it subtitle. And it's a variable and um, the default response default visibility is collapsed. Later on it will change it to uh, not hit testable which is like visible but you can't touch it you can't interact with it okay now that we have it um, we need to create a function for it in probably our third person character because I'm casting to my third person character every uh, where in my game and I can easily use my third person character as a reference in every other blueprint in the game so for example if I wanna play uh, the audio I just showed you the rain audio I'm going to play it in my level blueprint and uh, to play it I have to cast to my third person character my player character but I've already casted to it so I already have it I already have the variable so everything is gonna be pretty easy so let's get started in our play character which in my case it's third person character right click custom event it's going to be called dial like First thing that we have to do is to play a sound 2D probably uh, and the sound is going to be a variable no not a variable mm, no it's not gonna be it the sound comes here because we need an input um, and then or should we? Let's see. Maybe instead we should create a sound. Uh, let me see. I have another system set up. I just want to see how I set that the other um, blueprint up. It's a. It's a sound to the okay, so it doesn't really matter. So yeah, I could just easily then play sound to the and then use the input as the uh, as something like a variable to my play sound to the note. Then I need to change this, right? So how can I change it? Um. As I showed you, I already created the widget, I'm adding it to the viewport and I've already created this variable called hot for myself. So I'm going to grab it, I need the subtitle and I need to change the visibility first. Um, set visibility. 
and uh, it should be visible now so I, yeah, I, def I definitely need to create a sound to the sound to the. Yeah. It's not gonna work any other way. Um, and then, when it's finished, assign on audio finished. Um, I need. To set the visibility again back to collapsed. Okay. This one shouldn't be visible, it's not hit testable. So, what's gonna be the subtitle inside it? You might ask. Well, we should. On from here set text and this one should be an input as well it's not gonna be I'm double clicking on everything um, so this one should come here as a as an input pretty easy right so um, let me see first of all we have to change the text and then we should set the visibility okay everything should be fine so now I wanna test and how I can test it is just by V key debug debug key V and then by pressing it I will use the dialog custom event this is my custom event and then for the sound I'm going to choose raining for the text oh, what was the text it's raining, it's raining again. again I better get I ready, get ready. Okay. it's raining again I better get ready Okay, so it's B. Let's see. Hmm. It didn't play the sound though. Oh, I didn't because I didn't play it. <laughs> so after I created it, I have to play it. Play. Start time is zero. That's it. I don't need this. Thank you. Let's see. It's raining again. I better get ready. Okay. So here <laughs> I have to change this to collapse. I'm just an idiot. Uh, this one should be collapsed when we don't need it and it should work just fine. Let's see. So when I hit V, it's raining again. I better get ready. Yeah, it's raining again. I better get ready. Okay, cool. So now I have to fix the um, text font, which doesn't look good at all. So the font should be the default one. No, I need a font font should be the default one which is because it always works just fine and then I'm going to test something else again 
Control C, Control V, Control V, and Control V to see if everything works just correct. It's raining again. I better get ready. It's raining again. It's work. I better get ready. It's raining again. I better get ready. Uh, maybe I should probably make it a little bit bigger. Uh, it should be here, but this should be coming all the way down to here. And it's just going to work perfectly. And now instead of using the debug key I'm going to use it in actually in my rain event which is here in my uh, level blueprint I'm having a kind of a an event a rain event which has lots of things in it um, so in here I have a place sound to this setup. Instead of using that, I'm going to actually use the event I just created. So in the event begin play, I've definitely cast it, cast my third person character to something, and this is the value I can easily use. So coming here, I don't want to set it. Get the uh, third person character, type in dialog and instead of these two I'm going to use this custom dialog I created okay the text should be what I just copy it this right here and the other one um, is going to be The other one, what was the other one? Yeah, it's raining again. I hate to do it in rains. Maybe some more sunny weather, please. Doesn't look good though, but um, this is the way to do it. I'm going to uh, record a lot of more sounds, dialogues, and we'll add it the same way I just showed you with the subtitles and everything. Um, so now it's going to take a little bit of time to debug the video is already pretty long and I don't want to um, keep you anymore in here so that's pretty much it this is the way to you to uh, create the custom event this is the whole thing this is the whole thing it's pretty easy um, just make sure you do it like this and you're gonna good to go um, if you're playing the game, I hope you're having fun playing it, and uh, I wish you a great day. Bye.